my perfect date starts in a small cafe There's hearts everywhere cause it's Valentine's Day We order up waffles, then share the whole plate Sit by the window and start to debate Hey guys, so while the kitchen is still being delayed, I am going to be tackling the upstairs bathroom, which is the only one that's really in use right now. This room is just not functional for me. This is very much gonna be a temporary makeover because this room is gonna be completely gutted at some point and made into like a large master suite. This wall is gonna be coming down and extending into the second floor kitchen that's also gonna be gone once I have a kitchen downstairs. So I don't really wanna invest a lot of money in here, but I do wanna make it more functional. You can see like my skincare is sitting on top of my toilet. I have no counter space here. You can see my sink is, it's a sink with like a little bit of stuff here. And then I'm still using what I thought I'd be able to get rid of, which is my like storage organizer from when I was in college. It's not my style at all. The drawers kind of get stuck a bit. Like they, it's kind of falling apart a bit. So short term, it's coming up with a lot of storage solutions in here painting. I got this shower curtain at Home Goods when I was first moving into the house because I just needed a shower curtain and I really loved it. But this is kind of going to be the color palette I'm following in here. I'm going to be repainting the walls blue. I'm not going to be replacing the vanity. Like I said, I it's just like a temporary fix and it doesn't make sense to replace any of the like plumbing. This will be a two-part series. So in this part, we are emptying out this bathroom, painting, I'm doing like a peel and stick tile on both the floor and the walls of the shower because I really hate this brown tile. We'll see how the peel and stick holds up. Like I said, it's not the biggest deal. If it fails, then I'll just mark it as like, this was not worth it, do not do this. I am getting some storage from Ikea. So I'm going to have a large storage piece right here. And then I'm also getting storage for over the toilet. So I'll have that as well. So the way I'm going for this room, like I said, is inspired by this shower curtain, but it's also a bit inspired by laziness. I was like debating between painting the walls or not painting the walls, but I just feel like this like pale yellow, it's not me. It doesn't go with the look that I want in here, but I don't want to deal with like painting all because I have this beadboard trim and I have trim around the bottom and I've got the ceiling. I don't want to deal with painting and taping off all of these things. So I am going to do a semi-color dredge in here. All of the walls and the ceiling and the trim are going to be painted, but I'm not going to be painting the door because I plan on, I want all the doors in the house to match and I definitely want one half of one of the doors just to be blue. That's the plan in here. I think it's sweet, she sometimes winks when she laughs. I like the way she dances bare. So 
The bathroom is mostly painted, as you can see. I love this color. The blue is just so perfect. The only thing that I haven't painted that I'm not sure on is the door and the trim. I'm just not sure whether I want to like paint it blue as well or paint it white. It's getting repainted definitely, but I think I'm gonna sit with it for a bit to see how I feel. It is a bit dark in here. Like I said, I'm kind of, I don't know. I'm, I'm still feeling out the ceiling. Once I get the peel and stick tile on the shower and the floors, I think I will feel differently because that's mostly white. And right now the tile on the shower takes up a large portion of this bathroom and it definitely, it's a dark, it's like the same tone as the walls. And so it just feels very monotonous with it. I am hopeful that once I get the tile on the shower, it's no big deal and it's like perfect and I love it. If not, I can just repaint the ceiling. I think that's what I would do. I definitely wouldn't touch the walls or any of the trim. I would keep the trim all painted blue. I did discover something which makes me excited for when we do like the big renovation of this bathroom, which is the ceilings in here are dropped down a bit lower than the ceilings in the rest of this top floor. I don't think they're dropped as much as they were down in the kitchen, but I think about six or seven inches. They added a vent in here. And because of that, they need to drop the ceiling about seven inches. That's how like deep it is. It's a pretty old vent from what I can see, or maybe they're just all that size. When I redo this bathroom, the ceiling is definitely gonna be raised the same height as the rest of the room. I still want a vent in here, but there's the attic above this. Like I don't mind putting like a little vent box up in the attic. I don't know why they brought it down in here. It doesn't really make sense to me, but I think they were going easier and cheaper. So I need to go through, I caulked before, but there were definitely things because it, there were scratches and it like I had to clean it as well. And there, I just didn't see everything. So I need to go through and caulk again. And then I'll do the second coat of around all of the edges needs their second coat. The walls have a second coat on them and I don't need another, but the edges definitely do. But thinking short term today, I am doing caulk. I am finishing the second coat of the edges and I am getting started on peel and stick tile in the shower. With just luck, she's going to not be happy. They're all locked out. They're not allowed in here when I'm painting. Special occasion because I'm in here right now. <laughs> See you guys in a bit. date starts in a small cafe there's hearts everywhere cause it's valentine's day we order up waffles then share the whole plate sit by the window and start to debate there's nobody else i'd rather spend my every day with i think it's sweet she sometimes winks when she laughs i like the way she dances barefoot Hey guys, 
is done. Wow, it is so echoing here without any of the furniture. I didn't even realize that I guess I haven't talked while I've been in here, but sorry about the echo. Can't really do anything about that. It's a bathroom. I painted the walls. I love this color. It's Manor Blue by Benjamin Moore, and I just did an eggshell finish. I don't know about you guys, but there's something about matte paint that gives me like, like the feeling of nails on a chalkboard. This is matte, and I just like, ugh, I hate touching it. The eggshell is perfect. The color turned out so good. It's exactly what I want in here. It's like a gray blue, and it's on the ceiling too. Oh. That rhymed, it didn't mean for it to rhyme. The question that I'm left with in regards to the paint is you can see here, I got some paint on the trim. And I've been going back and forth a lot. I should paint this trim blue. I think no matter what, I'm gonna keep the door white. I'm not touching it for now. It really needs to be stripped and restored. And I'm not adding another coat of paint on that before I do it. So this is staying how it is now. I'm either going to paint this trim blue, which I'm unsure on. I don't know, I'm just, is it too much blue? Or I've done literally every other piece of trim in here blue, so should I just do it? Or I'm going to repaint it white. So I could just paint it white. I'm definitely not leaving it with this paint on it. I just would like some input. So if you guys have any ideas on whether I should paint this white or paint it to match the rest of the trim in here, which is all blue, let me know. Um, I am still actively working on this bathroom, obviously, but I love how specifically the beadboard turned out. Like over here by the toilet, this looks so good. Something about it feels so like creamy and dreamy. I am newly getting into caulking everything and I already can see like it's not perfect. There are areas where I'm like, oh, I should have done that again, just to get it really, really specific. But this bathroom was almost perfect for me to practice on because I'm the only one who really uses it and it's coming down in like a year. So it's more of just like a practicing ground. Along with the walls and ceiling, which I'm so excited to have finished, I also finished up the peel and stick tile. So, <laughs> I picked this pattern because I wanted something really bright. I knew because I was painting the blue, I knew because I was painting the blue on the ceiling that I needed something to balance the space out, to brighten it up so it wouldn't feel so dark because the ceilings aren't that high in here. Also something, wanted something that felt a little bit older. I want this bathroom to feel really cottagey uh, because that's the feeling that the rest of the house has for the most part. And so the white with just a little black tiles for me was perfect. What I will say, this was my first time ever doing peel and stick tile. I, at this point, am not sure I would do it again. You know, I might do it again, but I would not do a pattern this geometric and this small. There's so many lines to match up. I'm lucky on video you guys can't see it, but there are a lot of spots that are just slightly off that I couldn't get exact. And honestly, it bothers me a lot. <laughs> I'm a bit of a perfectionist and it bothers me a lot that I wasn't able to line them all up perfectly. It came to a point of either this is never going to get done or it's going to get done but not perfectly and I'd rather have this is good enough. Overall though, the look it gives to the entire bathroom, I really like. You walk in here and it has the feeling that I want it to have. I am not finishing here whatsoever. I'm not even finished cleaning up. This peel stick tile took me so much longer than I thought it was going to. And I also was just feeling not so great this weekend. There's just lots of stuff with the house. It's really stressful. <laughs> trying to get stuff done, trying to get back into the kitchen, which doesn't seem to be happening. And then also it's my period, so you know, <laughs> it just kind of takes it out of you. I still need to caulk around the entire shower, all of the edges, and I want to get pieces of trim. Let's see, this is coming off just slightly. I don't like how this line looks at the edge. I wanna get a piece of trim that can fit over the corner here and give it a really finished look. So, so I'm gonna be adding that little bit of trim, painting this trim, whether I do it white or blue, 
I'm really finishing this space out, so I have furniture that I need to build. I'm getting an over-the-toilet storage, as well as storage that will go in this corner to make up for the little bitty cart that I have right now, which I hate. Obviously bringing the shower curtain back in, making this functional again, the mirror. And the project I'm most excited about, because I haven't done it before, I am going to be turning a hardwired sconce into a plug-in so that I can have some more light by my mirror. Right now, I don't have a light on here. I've got my lights because the only light in here. So I am excited to tackle that project, see if I'm successful. Also, I'm gonna look through my art stash, which you guys saw me organize last week and find some pieces to go here. I think I'm gonna do two smaller pieces or maybe one longer one. Not sure, but we'll be doing a little bit of shopping in my own personal thrift store, basically. So excited for next week when we finally put all the finishing touches on this bathroom. The foundation is done. The paint, the tile, done. Now I get to do all the pretty things, the little things. I will see you guys next week. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.